Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Joy Business Report. Coming up this morning, some oil marketing companies reduce prices of petroleum products. We have details coming up. Also, Ghana likely to make progress with bilateral debt creditors uh, quickly with a positive development before the end of the year. That's forecast by Fish Solutions and Ghana Revenue Authority warns it will not hesitate to take all legal means, including the liquidation of tax defaulting companies to enforce compliance. Details coming up. Thanks for being with us. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to our friends listening from Kofi Radio on KT Radio. My name is Daryl Kwao. Let's begin with a few prices because uh, some oil marketing companies have started reducing prices um, at the pumps this morning. Petrosol is, for instance, selling a litre of petrol at 11 cities, 99 pesos. Diesel, on the other hand, is going for 13 cities, 15 pesos. Some of the companies are linking the reduction in prices to the decline in crude oil prices on the global market. More oil firms are expected to review their prices later in the day. Uh, Joy Business is learning that if the Ghana city had been firmly stable against the US, dollar the reduction in prices would have been bigger than what is being recorded at the pumps currently now financial economist professor lord mesa is warning that interest rates as well as inflation will not slow down significantly by next year as projected by government it follows government's decision to spend about 61 billion cities as projected revenue in 2024 speaking on pm express business edition professor mesa said the financing said that financing the huge budget deficit could rather increase interest rates and inflation Government average issue of treasury bill on the market, which is highly concentrated in the 91 day, is around 3 billion, you know, on the market, on the average. And even with that, we are struggling to bring interest rates down on the market because the banks are, you know, channeling their funds into these treasury bills. And then we are talking about 60 billion in 2024. That brings to terms, if you divide, you know, the 60 billion by 12, it tells you that every month government will go to the market to borrow around 5 billion. 3 billion, we are not able to bring interest rate down, right? How much more 5 billion? All the money will be chasing, you know, government i mean in a form of treasury bill investment and as a result of that bringing down the interest rate in the short term will become a problem mm. financial economist professor lord mensa first speaking on pm express business edition in case you missed uh, that discussion you can uh, catch it again this morning at 11 on the joint news channel the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana says it is dissatisfied with the role government will play under the Planting for Food and Jobs Program Phase 2. The farmers say government's role as defined in the 2024 budget is not clearly spelled out to give smallholder farmers the hope of increased yield under the project. Speaking to Joy Business, Executive Director Dr. Charles Nyaba said the lack of financial commitment to the Planting for Food and Jobs Program Phase 2 in the 2024 budget makes the policy vague. But if you look at it, there is no specific allocation to PFJ phase two. Okay, government is going to facilitate uh, credit for aggregators to be able to procure seeds, fertilizer for farmers. And then when they finish, that way, a lot of engagement is gone into that. But we are yet to see the actual implementation and how government investment is going into that okay. but if you look at the whole arrangement mm. it means that government is only going to play a facilitation role and that is also a something we are concerned about executive director of the peasant farmers association of ghana dr charles nyaba now businesses expected tax reliefs ahead of the 2024 budget unfortunately their demands were not met as the finance minister did not scrap the covid 19 levy and e-levy while joy business has been engaging some business owners to pick their views on the 2024 budget the disappointment expressed by the various business groups largely centers on taxes and the lack of policies to address the unfavorable economic conditions. Joseph Obeng is the president of Guta. Our main demands as traders were not met. We're demanding that COVID levy should be removed, the special import levy also be removed. We have been complaining about high cost of doing business. The same problem persists. Mark Bedu Abwaje shared similar concerns. What we were expecting 
vaccine is a tax relief that will have broad-based and significant impact on the larger part of the manufacturing company. For me, the, our VAT structure is not helping. John Awini of the Food and Beverages Association warns of the relocation of businesses. Well, I'm uh, talking with a couple of the CEOs. Many of them have said that already relocating. Some will close down. Some of them will open satellite offices. And that is it. And the private sector will continue to contract. The Ghana Chamber of Young Entrepreneurs expressed disappointment with the non-clarity on the full implementation of the U-Start program. When you make the Ghanaian young person, you prepare their mind that this is what I'm going to use to create the jobs. And you never really implemented it. You never come back to tell us that this is why we haven't implemented. Then you are not supporting your young people. And that's the truth. Touted as the Inkunim budget, many businesses expressed worry that the policies outlined in the budget may not bring about the needed growth. That report was filed by my colleague Isaac Atasenyako. Now, Fish Solutions has hinted that Ghana is likely to make progress with its bilateral debt creditors quickly with a positive development before the end of the year. According to the UK-based firm, the worst situation is now behind the country as it has made progress with fiscal consolidation and other macroeconomic indicators. In its latest sub-Saharan Africa macroeconomic update, Fitch said that the country will also reach an agreement with external bondholders by the middle of next year. My Kruniga is senior analyst for Sub-Saharan Africa at Fish Solutions. Our view is that Ghana will make progress regarding the restructural of its bilateral debt fairly quickly, uh, with some positive developments expected until before the end of 2023. Uh, bilateral debt as a share of total external debt in Ghana is, is fairly low, and Ghana is not as big a creditor compared to Zambia. So dynamics that should speed up the negotiation process with the official sector. Uh, positive signaling regarding a debt restructuring deal between Ghana and its bilateral creditors uh, should then improve investor sentiment, increase demand for the CD, and allow uh, the exchange rate to pare back some of its recent losses. I think it's the negotiations with Ghana's bondholders that are going to take significantly longer, given that uh, commercial debt accounts for more than 60% of total external debt. And most of this is in the form of euro bonds. Um, so our view is that Ghana will be able to reach a deal with external bondholders, most likely by mid 2024. My Kuniga there, he's senior analyst for Sub-Saharan Africa at Fish Solutions. The Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority, Reverend Ameshadai Uswamwa, is sending a strong signal to large taxpayers that all liabilities will be collected by implementing the tax laws to the latter. According to him, the GRA will use all strategies within its power, including liquidating companies, to ensure that the appropriate taxes are collected for the state. He was speaking to Joy Business after the decision to liquidate United Steel to upset the company's tax liabilities. But as, as I said, even though we are ready to implement the latter, we also let the Ghanaians know that it's not to collapse the companies. Whatever way we have to do to revive the companies so the project can go on, we will. And therefore, so nobody to think that it's too, it's too big nor too small to comply. And I think that you have gone around the factory, you have seen that it's a very big factory. If you have been able to go to the extent of selling the factory and making sure that we have got our taxes, the principal taxes were paid in full. Then it means that no matter how small, how big you are, we are ready to ensure that we will collect the taxes in full. But at the same time, we are also concerned that production should continue, people should not be laid off, and therefore when we are selling, we have to put all this into the negotiations. You had the um, Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority, uh, Reverend Ameshadai Osu Amwa. You are listening to the Joy Business Report. Now, Ghanaians have been lamenting the high cost of rent over the years. And, well, today on the Business Journal, my colleague Jesse Aram Agbapo engages shop owners on the cost of acquiring um, shops here at Kokumlimli in the Greater Okra region. <laughs> Welcome to Joy Business Shopping List. Over the years, there have been complaints about the high cost of rent here in Ghana. Today, we find out just how much it costs to acquire a space for your business. Okay, it depends, but I'm especially around where my shop is located. It ranges between 1,000 to some 1,500, and I mean some 2,000 a month. So depending on where the shop is actually located. But for where I am, it ranges between 1000 to 2000 a month. Previously, what was the amount being charged? It was around 
700, 800,000, 1,000 to their house. So there's been some huge difference. Most of the land loss, the moment sometimes they hear that, oh, this, this person has increased the price of his or her shop, they also tend to increase the prices. I mean, sometimes without even renovation of the shop or nothing new, they tend to increase the price. So would you say that this increment is affecting business? The cost is high, all right. Is it affecting your business? Um, it affects business sometimes because when it happens that way, it means you are paying huge sums of money for a particular shop. So you are also forced to increase your prices, thereby affecting business sometimes. But all in all, we are still coping. So here they take for, like, let's say, two years, and the month is 1,100, you see. And you can't go for, like, you can't say that you are going to pay for a year. The landlord will not accept that that is that sometimes you go to a place and they, they, they will start building people will go and deposit you see so now things has increased because of what they are doing yeah, that is that so if you get a, a nice place like let's say you get a roadside like a community you see they will, they will, it will depend on the place that you are going, going to rent yeah so this place you see that people passes here so they take 1100 a month and you if you calculate it thousand one hundred a month let's say two years you will see the calculation it yourself do you ask for reductions do they if you ask for a reduction they will tell you that dollars cement yeah uh, but you know Ghana uh, if 